What's up guys, DJ Lowstacks here, and today we are gonna be doing something that I've been planning on doing for a while. It is uh, Saturday, it's the first Saturday of 2018, and it's cold as hell outside. Well, I guess hell's not really cold, but hell in Michigan. Nice and frigid, it's been about, I don't know, I don't think it's been over 11 degrees out in like two weeks here in Michigan, Southwest Michigan, pretty horrible. But today what we're gonna be doing is something I've been wanting to do for a while. We're gonna be installing self-grounding RCAs on my Technic 1200s, and I figured since we have them apart, we might as well install some halo rings as well. Uh, the main reason I wanna install these uh, self-grounding RCAs, anybody else that runs 1200s, they probably run into the same issue as me. Um, you can go to set up almost every time you have an issue with the ground. You're not getting a good signal, you gotta wiggle the ground wire, find all of a sudden your, your uh, <clears throat> connection line in Serato just goes gray and it's good for the rest of the night. And then maybe sometime throughout the night all of a sudden it just dumps out on you and you get nothing but red. But uh, hopefully this will fix that issue. And uh, also the these monster RCA cables should uh, give me a lot better quality signal as well. So we're gonna get started on that uh, right now. All right, so first off, the tools we're gonna be using today, you got your standard Phillips screwdriver, small flathead screwdriver, got a drill, well, impact driver. I'm only gonna be using this for removing the screws, especially just the screws on the bottom of the turntable, because there's just, there's so many of them, it would take forever to just use a screwdriver, but I wouldn't recommend using a drill on the screws on the inside, just because you don't wanna strip any of those out or damage any of the circuit boards. And also we have, this is actually a wood burner, but it'll do the trick. I don't have my soldering iron here. Uh, this gets hot enough, it'll still melt solder. And uh, yeah, my your halo lights and my RCAs. So let's get started. So first things first, we're gonna do, I don't know if I should do the halo lights first or the RCAs. I think we'll start with the RCAs, but either way, you got to get rid of your control vinyl. You got to pull your platter off no matter what. And then actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a lid from one of my flight cases. the flight case move it a little bit closer so you guys can see better but pretty self-explanatory here so I'm gonna start out taking off all four feet all right then Got about a zillion screws here. All right, once you get all the screws out, this bottom plate should pop right off. Got one screw. All 
All right. Now, switch over to our regular screwdriver here. Now this just pries off, just a little wire clip. Now, the fun part. Now, this should be pretty easy. Got to start out by cutting the zip tie. All right, now hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna start out by clipping off this zip tie. Pull that off. Then, I'm going to remove this ground screw. And you gotta be super careful because you're dealing with these tone arm wires that are very, very fragile. So you got five tone arm wires. That you're gonna have to solder on to your new, your new RCAs. So I'm gonna get my soldering iron hot and get these unwrapped and then we'll go from there all right so we got our soldering iron hot i went ahead and i didn't snug it down but i put the new rcas in their spot just to kind of hold it there now i'm going to take these off these tone arm wires off one at a time and put them on the new RCA board. So, I'm just going to start, I guess, would be from the right. So, I'm going to start with green. Now this is supposed to be self-grounding, so in theory, that should have, that should be all we have to do. But, before I go off and put this thing all back together, we're definitely gonna test it. All right, so just tested turntable and works perfect uh, 
perfect signal right off the bat. I did have to clean the needle a little bit, but yeah, perfect signal. The ground wire was not hooked up because it's self grounding now, so you don't even need it. So next we're gonna be installing the Halo LEDs and I'm gonna have to get back into the bottom of the turntable as well because I gotta install the uh, the red pitch light as well. So I'm gonna leave that part the screws out because we're gonna have to flip it back over here in a minute. But yeah, start out, take off your platter. Shock guard here. Now for this part, we're gonna be working on this right here. So I want to that screw out that screw out and we got to flip this fucker over hopefully Without knocking any wires loose. So now what we gotta do is connect our power wires for our lights. Now this one, blue goes to blue and then brown is gonna go to the ground. Well, we're running into a little bit of a problem. This 1970s solder does not want to soften up. Finally got it. So now the brown one. working okay, so now Let's peel off your double stick tape And you want to put this on as low as possible because you don't want your platter rubbing if your platter rubs it's going to screw up your pitch This part is why I left the screws out of the bottom. Because so now, I'm gonna have to flip this sucker over again and put the LED into the pitch slider. 
All right, so I finally got the platter to stop rubbing on that. There's that circuit board that came with the, the halo lights. The platter was rubbing on it. So I finally got that figured out. So the platter's, smooth, you know, spinning smooth. If it was with a rubbing like that, it's gonna throw your pitch all off and it's not gonna be accurate. But now we're back on the underside of things. And what we gotta do is run our LED now to our pitch. So I'm gonna pop this rubber bottom back off here. So now, our LED here for our pitch. Gotta back out these two screws that hold the pitch control on. Not a whole lot of room to play here, so gotta figure out where we want this. Should be good now. Well guys, it only took me about two hours to get them both done, but finally have two operational turntables with LED halo lights and pitch controls LED lit and also self-grounding with oversized monster cable RCAs. Pretty impressing. Check this out. Pretty sweet. Alright guys, well that pretty much concludes this uh, tutorial. Uh, if you liked what you saw today, please give this video a like and as always, subscribe. See you next time.